uh, kick off then at uh, 5.32, begin the meeting. Uh, first, I want to thank Robin for uh, hosting this meeting. Thank you very much for doing that. Um, Laura, I'm not sure everyone knows, uh, Laura has, uh, she's not working for uh, East Granby anymore. She's moved on to, to other things. So we're, uh, I guess we're, we're going to be hiring somebody to replace her in the, in the future, but at least for this meeting, it's, uh, she won't be helping us along. It's, uh, Tom and I got the minutes Got your, got your speed writing ready, Tom. For... Trying. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did you say Laura is moving on? Yeah, she yeah. took another job. Maybe Robin, you know more than I do. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, Laura took a job with the state of Connecticut. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, so we convene the meeting at uh, five thirty-two. In attendance, we have Paul, David, and Tom, and Todd, and Peter. Yep, that's good. All right, very good. Um, so one, two, three. Four, Four. All right, we've got a quorum without uh, Peter voting, but I'm glad you're here, Peter. Thank you. Um, we. I'm not sure everyone knows uh, Paul Leva uh, provided his. Um, his. Uh, he's decided to leave uh, Economic Development Commission, and it's a, a sad day for the commission. Paul was always a uh, wonderful contributor to everything he's done in town. He's uh, just uh, Mr. East Granby. You, know, you see his uh, pickup truck going around town, and he's just is uh, an amazing individual with everything he uh, volunteers to do. So uh, thanks for a decade or more of uh, service to the economic development. Uh, recently, the uh, Board of Selectmen also, and you know, he's, he's not going too far, but he's uh, not going to be a member of our uh, happy team here. So wishing him well. And that opens up an opportunity for uh, someone new. Uh, so we've had some uh, um, folks that have uh, in the past uh, shown an interest to uh, join the EDC. Uh, and also we've picked up a couple other uh, uh, folks uh, based on the recent uh, Let's Talk Turkey um, uh, ad. So we're uh, going to be working on that coming up soon, replacing, uh, replacing uh, Paul. Uh, we've got Brian and Peter. And at the moment, uh, I don't recall which one of you two has seniority. I'll have to talk with uh, um, Town Hall and see who's got seniority to uh, move up to a, a full membership position. Uh, so, Peter, I'll, I'll be looking into that, and then we'll we'll bring somebody else on as a uh, as an alternate. So that's kind of the personnel stuff uh, that's gone on um, in the. Uh, um, uh, invite I sent out. I included the uh, minutes of meeting from November. Uh, there was no December meeting. Um, so if uh, everybody's had a chance to review the minutes of meeting, I'd look for a motion to uh, accept the minutes uh, from our November meeting. Anybody want to make that uh, motion? Motion to accept. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Abstain. Abstain. Okay. Uh, Todd, I don't know if you were at that meeting, were you? Yeah, I'm going to abstain as well. Okay. Well, I'll second it. I was, uh, I was at that meeting. Okay. Uh, any discussion on any of the minutes? Anything to say? Okay. We'll take a vote then. All in favor of acceptance? Aye. Aye. Okay. Very good. Any negative? Very good. Accept the the minutes with uh, uh, Todd. And uh, David uh, abstaining. We got Brian here too now. Okay. Oh, very good. Yep. Wait a second. Hey, Brian, you uh, hearing us yet? Uh, yep, I hear you now. Okay, very good. Welcome. We just uh, started the meeting at 5.32 and... Uh, voted we have a quorum so uh you know what actually we don't have a quorum for the minutes because todd and uh and david abstained um so let me go back to that um brian and uh peter um did you uh um were you able to uh, uh review the minutes of meeting and uh have any comments on those i was at the meeting i reviewed the minutes no comments okay thank you peter Yep, same. Okay, Brian. 
Okay, a redo then on the on the vote. Um, yeah, or first, any other discussion on the minutes? Brian, were you at the November meeting? I believe I was. Yes. Yeah. The minutes need to be amended to reflect that. I think I was. I, mm, they kind of blend together. Yeah, I got them right here. Let me take a look here. The same with me, Brian. Uh, we've got uh, Tom and Carrie and Paul and Peter. Yeah, I guess we don't have a quorum. All right, very good. We'll uh, put this off until we have uh, or see if Carrie uh, calls in on that. Carrie or, uh, yeah, because Paul's not with us anymore. So it'd have to be uh, Carrie. All right, so uh, it is not uh, the uh, minutes from November are not uh, approved at this time pending uh, a quorum. All right. Um, next item is item two, um, discussion from anyone of the public. Uh, Lisa, I see you're on here. Is there anything you'd like to uh, say? At least you're on mute if uh, I'm not sure you see that. Okay, um, one more try. Lisa, can you uh, hear us okay? All right, we'll move on from that. Very good. Uh, next item is communications. Uh, we uh, issued the uh, EDC uh, meeting minutes from November 23 in the economic development report. Um, Next up, item four is the EDC report. Uh, Robin, can you give us a, a rundown of what's happening? Sure. Um, so just a couple of brief stuff that's not in the written report. Um, as you know, we kicked off our first ever um, business passport program in August, and it ended with Small Business Saturday in November. Um, it was very successful. Uh, we actually had to order more passports after a month of putting it out. Um, so I think for the first time and um, putting that program out, it, it went really well. Um, I would say probably trying to make a few tweaks uh, for next year uh, when we um, looking at how many stamps that we require because we didn't have that many people actually hand in their passports. So that was the back side of it, which, you know, the point is just to get the people out to the businesses. So I think that was pretty successful, but um, just sort of wrapping the program as a whole um, to make sure all of those pieces come together um, mm -hmm. for next year would be great. But it was overall a very, very successful program. Um, on our website, we have our first business spotlight up. Um, if anyone hasn't already seen it, I encourage you to uh, go ahead and take a look at that. Um, it is Joining Technologies. Um, our IT person did a really great job at showcasing them on the website. So um, I'm hoping that more businesses will take advantage of that um, and getting the word out that we do have that on there for them. Um, and, you know, we can rotate through as people want to see their businesses on the website. Um, I am working with Eden for Facebook page for the Economic Development Commission. That would be that tie together for those business spotlights. And, getting the word out like about the passport program or anything that we look to do in the future. Um, so that is in the works. Um, we're just trying to get that set up and, you know, who would be the administrator and, and that sort of stuff. So Paul, I know you and I have talked about getting together um, to go over some of this stuff. So uh, whenever you get back, we'll, we'll circle back around on that with Eden. Yeah. Um, and then all the rest of the stuff is in the written report, but just generally um, the, Planning and Zoning Commission through staff did a small change to the village center regulations that we updated uh, back in the fall. Um, it came to my attention as I was working with a developer that we inadvertently um, did not change uh, the height to match the stories that we had changed in the regulation. Um, so we just did a minor modification so that those two items now match. Uh, in the updated regulation for the village center. Um, so that did get approved at the last meeting. And that, um, we uh, have, that was 2316? Yep, 2316, yep. yep. Um, and then we have two pending applications currently. We have Jet Transportation, which is a small um, 
I guess, distribution sort of uh, facility where they're sort of what I would call like final end distribution where they do the final deliveries to people or bring it to the airport to be flown out. Um, so they're on Russell Road at the end where East Street and Russell meets. They're proposing a 40,000 square foot uh, building with outdoor trailer parking. Um, it has wetlands approval. It's currently in the middle of their public hearing for planning and zoning. Um, it was continued to next month so that the um, potential uh, developer could maybe put some together some answers to some questions that the public had at the meeting. So um, I anticipate hopefully at closing in February and we'll see um, how that gets acted upon by the Planning and Zoning Commission. Um, okay. The last mm -hmm. item, Robin, you wanna, on yeah. that one, the 2315, would they normally give you an opportunity to review the, the answers to their questions? I mean, there was a lot of questions came up and I think you and uh, Tom said you were gonna give them the list or would you be mm -hmm. privy to that before the meeting? Not necessarily, no, mm -hmm. unless they give them back in um, written format, which I don't anticipate they would because they're not staff comments or questions. Yeah. They were public oriented. So mm -hmm. um, I think they'll just probably come to the meeting and give a presentation that sort of addresses which ones they want to address, stressing that they don't have to address any of them if they didn't want to. Mm -hmm. um, however, they have already reached out and I've given them a list and they're going through the list uh, with their consultants now. So I anticipate they'll be answering probably most of what was asked at the meeting. Yeah, they, they seem amenable to, to answering them. And they, yeah. I think they would have done it then if, if they'd let them maybe, they, they seem ready to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, and then the next pending, current pending one um, that was also opened uh, this month is a text amendment to allow both type A and type B drive-through facilities um, in the Commerce Park Transition Zone. Um, for those who might not know the difference, uh, type A are food, uh, fast food restaurant uh, drive-throughs and type B would be pharmacies, banks, um, those type of drive-throughs. So. Um, I think the commission had some concerns, I think more strongly with the fast food type um, drive-throughs and asked them um, sort of to rethink their text amendment and maybe come back with an amendment to it. Um, so I know that the developer in that case is working on that um, currently and has reached out to staff um, and I've given them some direction as to, you know, what I thought the feedback from the commission was. Um, so we'll see what they come back with. Uh, in February, that I would anticipate getting a draft of before the meeting, um, so that it could be handed out to commission members. But um, that's also a, a maybe not. It's it's an open hearing, so they could just show up at the meeting and present it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I I didn't look up twenty four one, Rob, and I me I meant to do that, and I I didn't get a chance to do that. That was that one's new to me. Yep, so that is a text amendment to add in the agricultural zone only the ability on agricultural properties to have um, storage bins for sale of mulch and oh, yes, um, yes, yes. stone yeah. and that sort of type products yeah. Um, yeah. on an agricultural operation, an established agricultural operation. So that mm -hmm. has not opened yet. Um, that just came in, was referred to CROG. Um, and will open in February. Yeah, he came in and spoke about that informally, I think, now that you he mentioned. Did. He yeah. did, yeah. Yeah, oh, very good. All right, any uh, questions or anything from anyone on the EDC team? Yeah. It's uh, exciting to see things happening. You know, it's uh, for, for so many years, the, uh, the Route 20 uh, for lease for sale forest you know, it's uh, exciting things happen. I know uh, yes. the uh, Vinsunas, you know, he doesn't necessarily have anybody uh, uh, slated to come in, but it, it, he seemed like he's, I don't know, it's a higher level of activity that I've seen before, or anticipation maybe. So it's hopefully something's going to be, be happening there sooner than later. Yeah. And then just one final thing um, sort of related um as you guys know, I've written a couple of grants since I started, and we actually got both of those grants. Um, we're still working with CROG on the School Street uh, Reconstruction and Sidewalk Grant. They have a firm out doing some additional information for DOT. Um, but we do have the approval to go ahead and put an RFP out for 
the town hall campus sidewalk project. So um, that RFP is going to get posted tomorrow. Um, so we're moving forward with that. So that's exciting. I think it's exciting. Uh, looking forward to, you know, working with an uh, engineering surveying firm to get those construction plans so that it can go out to bid. And um, hopefully by the end of the year, we have a contractor to start working on it. Yeah. No, that is very exciting. Um, Robin, last meeting when we were talking about, I believe it was the uh, uh, JET um, project, um, it, and it came up in, in the public hearing a little bit, uh, incorrectly stated, but still it came up. Uh, Carrie brought up a, um, an issue with the, the um, uh, public water and, and firefighting and so forth, and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a, a concern about, you know, we shouldn't go forward, but, but it was, uh, and then it was kind of, I say, mis, misconstrued or misportrayed, I think, in the planning and zoning meeting, really, what the discussion was. Uh, the discussion was more about uh, if there was uh, uh, utilities uh, the, the ability to develop the uh, transition zone would be a little bit better, maybe more attractive to um, uh, to, to uh, different developers. Uh, in that regard, uh, are, are there opportunities that come up for, um, for and grants? This is a question around. Are there opportunities that come up for development of, uh, of public utilities? I mean, you're probably on those already, I'm guessing. Yeah, so there are. Um, the only problem with those currently is we have no uh, plans that show where we would want those interconnections. Um, and I'll take it back even one step further. Right now, we're uh, uh, our town engineer is putting out an RFP. We have to do a, a town-wide sewer testing. Um, they're, they're doing like a smoke test or something. And I, I don't know the logistics. That's over my head. It's an engineering thing. But um, to look for issues within the sewer uh, system. And so that's like step one. And then step two would be addressing any of those issues. And then Tom and I have started working on where would it make sense to um, bring down our sewer and our water where it's adjacent to some of these parcels that are developable and could bring in um, something. So it is being looked at you actually, you know, you sort of need plans in order to do these infrastructure grants. So we're just a little bit behind with that. Um, but with this RFP going out and with Tom and I looking at where these connections make sense and East Street's one of them up to, you know, the corner of Russell and possibly down Russell, um, you know, we're, we're looking at all that. So that is in the works. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Last meeting, uh, we actually voted on uh, uh, writing you a letter uh, asking you just to consider, you know, keep your eyes open for those grants. Yep. And uh, it, it's actually completed. I just ha I had some computer problems, so I haven't uh, issued it. But it's if it's helpful, you know, the EDC is is just throwing our, our recommendation behind, like I said, probably what you're yeah. already doing, looking for opportunities. So. No, I think that's great because if we ever go for, for grants, as you know, Paul, like the sidewalk grant, I asked you to, to write right. us a recommendation letter. I yep. attach those on. The, so those always go a long way. So I think still send the letter. I, I'll yep. keep it in our folder that we have working for uh, those connections. And that way, if we do have a grant that comes up, we have some of this background information from other boards and commissions. Yep. Yep. Robin, Robin, does the uh, sidewalk grant include lighting too, or is that something separate? That would be something separate. It would be, okay. Yep. Lighting is included for the School Street project, but not for um, the connectivity grant because it's specific to trails and, and sidewalks. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Uh, anything else, Robin? Anything else from that report? Nope. That's it. Yeah. Uh, back to the uh, EDC Commission. Any uh, questions? Anything for, for Robin? Uh, to, to the letter I mentioned about the uh, um, public utilities, I do have the uh, draft completed. Um, I'm going to send that out to you folks. Uh, maybe I'll get to it tomorrow to get uh, one set of uh, comments for you guys before I, uh, I send it off to Robin. Very good. Thank you very much for that. Okay, okay. item five, uh, other business. Uh, business uh, uh, retention and visitation. Um, so I think last time we, we were together, we spoke about a, uh, a flyer uh, that would uh, sort of facilitate uh, visits to uh, 
our, our, our businesses in town. Uh, it's nice to just drop in and visit, but it's, it's better, I think, a, certainly an easier conversation if you have a, a subject matter to, uh, uh, to visit with. Uh, and the flyer I'm referring to is one that uh, Brian worked on for us that really identified some of the uh, uh, commercial, some of the uh, uh, financial um, uh, opportunities or, or programs that are available for our, our local businesses, both the retail and the industrial. Um, I know Robin had a, a look at a draft. I had a look at a draft, and and Brian, maybe you can update us on on where you are, um, given those comments. Uh, yep. So I I made all the changes that uh, you and Robin requested. Uh, fixed the spelling errors and grammatical errors, stuff like that. Um, checked all the links; they're all good to go. So um, I, you know, uh, yep. as far I, I think it's it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, uh, I haven't had you. You sent me a copy of it. I'll, I'll, maybe if you would, uh, I didn't notice the the uh, last uh, version that you sent us. Did you copy Robin on that too, or is that just to me? Oh no. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't. I just sent that to you. Yeah, yeah send that to Robin if you would too, please. And and then uh, Robin, if if we're both good with it, is that a? Uh, I, I think we discussed a uh, email to the to the largest population. You know, all of our. Uh, retail and industrials and maybe uh, separately identify maybe the uh, uh, top eight or ten I'm not sure the number uh, industrials or, or, or commercials that uh, uh, we have in town and maybe it's an opportunity for you Eden me and not, you know some combination of you know town officials to stop in and, and check in on the pulse of the business if you haven't already uh, and use this flyer as kind of a, a door knocker to, to go in and, uh, and visit with them yeah, that's a great idea. Yep. Yeah. So, Brian, maybe if you kick that off with uh, including uh, um, Robin on that, then we'll we'll take it from there. Yeah, I just forwarded it to her. Perfect. Thank you. And then if you want me to reformat it for, like, uh, better viewing on the web, you know, because right now it's kind of landscape, it might be better to kind of reconfigure it. I could do that, too, or even turn it into HTML code, uh, whatever is easiest to get it up on the web. Thank you. All right, next item is uh, Village Center uh, Master Concept Plan. Uh, one of the uh, recommendations of that plan uh, was the wayfinding, uh, the signage, if you will, for the town. Uh, that was a uh, action that the EDC took. Um, we uh, went or we um, reviewed the businesses, in, or I'm sorry, reviewed the uh, attractions in town. Uh, and, and put them on a map, uh, an East Granby map, um, uh, identified the priorities, whether they were uh, uh, priority one, two, or three. Um, and then, Peter, I think you uh, uh, went and, um, uh, based on that, went around town to uh, uh, document sort of what's what's the current state. And uh, I think when we have that, uh, kind of all those things together, the spreadsheet, identifying the priority, the maps, and the current state, I think that's a package that we agreed we were going to give to uh, Robin uh, to uh, put on the top of her desk, not necessarily in a drawer, uh, and look for the next grant opportunity where we could uh, uh, use that as a basis for uh, um, making some signage improvements in town to, to bring people to our attractions. So, Peter, if you want to say a couple words about that, maybe, if you could. Yeah, I uh, drove around town uh, last year, took photos, and have all those photos in a Google Drive. Um, tried to share it again with you today, Paul, but it keeps on giving me this error. Like, I can't share it, so yeah, um, I'll try again later. Um, or if there's another alternative method, um, you know, Robin, I'm not sure, you know, how, how the best way to get photos. Um, I can send you a OneDrive link, hmm. and then you can just dump them in the OneDrive, and um, we can share them that way. Yeah, if you can send me OneDrive link, that would be perfect. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And then, Robin, when I get back, I'll, I'll uh, ask for a meeting with you, set up a meeting with you to uh, go over the map and just, just show you, kind of explain what we've done and uh, see if that's uh, in a format that's usable right away or if you need some adjustments to that. Okay. Be back uh, towards the end of February. All right, uh, marketing. 
Uh, David, anything you want to say about uh, marketing, uh, Top Turkey, or any uh, updates on anything? Um, right now, I mean, I just need, if anybody has any, um, there hasn't been much to put into it mm-hmm. other than the same old, same old. Um, so if anybody does have any um, knowledge or they have anything they would like to possibly contribute to send it over to me um, because honestly we can just keep on posting the same mold and it's not really going to go anywhere or do what I think really our intention is is to bring attention right to um, either a certain business or new business or um, but uh, without teetering on advertising right yeah so um you know i'm always looking for something new to highlight um even if there is something from a nonprofit that we might want to highlight um but right now i just don't really have much going on i've reached out to the uh i I can't the name doesn't come to me right this second the uh, new uh, computer uh, uh business in there i've reached out to them a couple times and they've waved me back that they're they're not quite ready uh, i guess it's they're probably not. three or four weeks I, before that's that's really the only one i know of uh, kind of an up and coming yeah i know the owner um fairly well um so yeah they're not at that mm-hmm. point yet um yeah well, and it, that honestly. keeps getting pushed out too so yeah yeah yeah, it's funny on uh, Facebook. I've seen a couple folks ask, you know, where's a comp- used computer computer repair, and it's uh, feels like they've got a market. So I'm anxious for them to uh, to open Great. up and, and start up there. Yep. Okay, very good. Um, last item I have is the uh, January officer uh, elections uh, by our bylaws or according to our bylaws every January. We need to uh, uh, elect uh, officer positions, and that would be a chairman, uh, vice chairman, and a secretary slash treasurer. Although we don't have a really a finances to to speak to, but uh, uh, those three positions. Um, I've put out a, a, a I guess a couple different times. I've put out uh, emails or or, or um, uh, solicitation in the uh, uh, transmittals I've sent out uh, looking for uh, folks who might be interested in, in different uh, officer positions. And um, I, I haven't got anything back by email, but I have spoken uh, with a few folks. Um, so so um, uh, I'll give a pause here um, in terms of nominations. Um, is there anyone who would like to self-nominate? So let me just say that before I, I go further. Paul, I'm going to self-nominate for chairman. Okay. Yeah, I was going to uh, do that myself, David, and nominate uh, David uh, Iannucci for chairman of the uh, East Granby EDC. I'll self-nominate uh, for secretary. Okay. Let's, uh, let's finish. Thank you, Tom. Let, let's uh, hold off just for a second on that with, with David. We'll stick with the uh, uh, chair position. Uh, is there anyone who would uh, second that nomination for uh, chair. I will uh, second that uh, uh, nomination for David uh, Ainucci for uh, chairman of the East Granby EDC. Um, any discussion on that? Any uh, any thoughts on that before we go to vote? Or any, any other nominations, I guess is what I should be saying. Sorry about that. Any other nominations for uh, chairman of the East Granby EDC? I mean, just for clarification, uh, you don't want to be on the board anymore? Or? Uh, no, I'm. I'm uh, I, I I would like to stay on, on the uh, board. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just the, the chairmanship. Um, you know, it, it's. Um, I, I think David would would be a fine person to to take over the leadership. You know, it's it's still would be a a member of the board for sure. Okay. Understood. Just wanted to check with you first before we. I don't know what else is going on, so. Yep. 
All right. Um, so if there's no other uh, uh, nominations or discussions, I'd like to take a vote on uh, uh, David Ainucci for uh, chairman of the East Grammy EDC. Vote in favor. Aye. 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 Vote against. None. Abstain. All right, then. Thank you, David, for... Uh, becoming chairman of the East Grammy EDC. Okay, uh, let's move on to uh, secretary, maybe next. Um, Tom, you've uh, nice enough to uh, nominate yourself, self-nominate for uh, secretary of East Grammy EDC. I, I would like to second that nomination. Um, any other, anyone else um, looking to uh, nominate someone for the secretary of the EDC? Okay, hearing no other nominations, I'd like to uh, I take a vote on uh, um, Tom Lally as uh, uh, secretary slash treasurer, East Granby EDC. In favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Opposed? Abstain? All right, unanimous. Thank you, Tom. All right. In the uh, in the mode of self nomination, I would like to nominate myself as vice chairman of the uh, East Granby EDC. I'll second. Okay. Thank you. Uh, are there other nominations for vice chairman of the EDC? Okay. Very good. No other nominations. Like to uh, take a vote on uh, Paul Tulane being vice chairman of the East Granby EDC. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Very good. We've got our new uh, we've got our new officers of the East Granby EDC with um, David Iannucci as chairman, Paul Tulane as vice chairman, and Tom Lally continuing as Secretary Treasurer. Thank you guys for uh, volunteering again. Yeah, yeah. You're right. welcome. Yeah, absolutely. Dan, you just joined us. Hello, Dan. Hello. Yeah, I've been here for a little while. I, I drove there like an idiot. Um, so oh. I just made it back. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, that's all right. I checked. I saw there was a meeting, and then I, and, but I didn't read it. It's my fault. Right in time for the motion to adjourn. Yeah, exactly. A perfect time, I guess. Some, some would say. <laughs> Dan, I don't have you. We were unable to approve our November uh, EDC uh, um, minutes, and I don't believe you attended the November meeting. Do you? Okay. Yeah. So no, I wasn't there. Yeah. We're going to have to wait for Carrie. I think Carrie's our only path forward on that one. All right. All right. Any other uh, new business? Any other discussion? Anything anybody wants to bring up? Sorry, Paul, are your meetings recorded? Was your November meeting recorded? Uh, recorded? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, um, because I know Paul obviously resigned and is no longer on the board, so um, a board member could watch the meeting from November yeah. and go at the next uh, meeting. So yeah. I would encourage at least one person who wasn't there to go ahead and do that. That way we can get those minutes passed. That's awesome. I'll do, I'll do that, Paul. Thank you, David. Yep, thank you. That's great thinking. I wouldn't have thought of that. Is this one recorded, Robin? Did you record this one? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right. If there's no other business, I'll, I'll look for a motion to adjourn. So moved. All right. Second. 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 So Todd and uh, David. Any discussion? Any further discussion tonight? All right. Let's take a vote to uh, adjourn our meeting this evening. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. All right. Very good, everyone. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for tonight's meeting. Uh, thank you, Robin, for hosting it for us and uh, yep. giving us an update on all the goings on in town.